Hello everyone, so this is my last uh, scene with a better point of view. And I'm going to show you how I did the squash and stretch for my letter animation, text animation. So, um, like in a good kitchen uh, video, cooking video, I've prepared something. This is the basic start point. We have a basic geometry node. So we have the string to curve, fill curve, transform, and I rotate on the x axis. 90 degrees we are translating the instances on the y-axis and we are using a controller with controller location with distance to the position node by using a, a color ramp to this mix this. and I also added a um, curve line just for helping purposes so let's connect it so we can see uh, the trajectory somehow the path of our letters So first, to make the letter jump a better way, I'm going to add a float curve. And if you do like this, can see the our trajectory. But if you look close here, it's not very. Let's do like this. So the. Let our jumping they stay a bit in the air and then they fall back. But usually for such animation they fall faster and they jump faster. So let's move this. Point Let's even do like this. Oh, this is not expected. <laughs> so I'll push this one even to the Middle point, point five, like this. As you can see, this curve is reproduced here, and it goes in both directions. So now the speed of the jump is like I want. Let's do the stretch. You can see I've connected the pivot point here to the scale instances. This 
center. So I need another float curve. I need a new, another combine XYZ. Everything disappear. And now you can see the we need to fix this, yeah. So let's make it one everywhere. And I will need to change how we see the float curve by max y2 That's not, nothing is happening so we need to reset the view and now we can work so we're going to add a point at the center and put it there in order to see what it gives Okay, we get a stretch. Let's squash it as also. So at another point, squash it like this. Let's see what we get. I want to also add another point here. And it's not too bad. So that's basically it, but uh, for the squash we need to extend the, the size on, on the x-axis. So let's do another flat curve. Again, I will need to expand to go to be able to go further than one. So at the beginning, we can see we have the um, Start here. So let's add a point at the same position. Oh, <laughs> and um, another point. At 
same position but now we are gonna raise it and at the point of the middle so let's see what it gives So when the letter are squashing, they enlarge. And I want to get them to get thinner when they get up. So maybe I will do like this. And voila! Of course you can uh, tweak those curves Not get, in order to get the effect that you want, you can go extreme Even more fun. So as you can see, when the squeeze they are overlapping, so. Would be interesting to give some depth to the letters. So let's add, let's add the uh, extrude mesh. Of course, if you need to watch behind, you will have to fill the back so I don't need the uh, uncheck individual so now we can work on the on the depth depth so I will need another F curve but I can also use the F curve that I've used for the squash and now the letters are the front face are not overlapping i can use a math node in order to reduce the effect on the z-axis by using a multiply and let's do like this Voilà. Thank you for watching. I will add the file on Gumroad for free. And uh, see you next time.